are you doing, Michael? Just getting a few things ready. I uh, just got a report that there's some really big dolphin fish up north off the fat, the fisheries fat. So we're just going to pack the gear tonight and uh, head up tomorrow after work. All right, Miguel, what's the latest from Simon? Simon's still keen. Weather's looking pretty average, but uh, the chlorophyll chart and the temperature all lines up. It looks pretty good. Just put up with the weather. Bit of chop, bit of, bit of a big swell howling easterly, but it'd be worth it if a 20 kilo dolphin fish went in front of us. Quick stop off in Newcastle and then, you know, maybe a two to ten hours north, somewhere in between there. Or more. Or more, or not. <laughs> or south. <laughs> or, or south. <laughs> See how we go. Right out, so we were pretty excited when we jumped in and found fish straight away. What's going on today with that dolphin fish that you were? <laughs> We were fighting. Wrestling. The first dolly was just like the worst shot. I knew it was high. I knew it was going to come out. I looked around and I could just see dollies everywhere and I thought there's no way I'm going to get a second shot from you guys. And then uh, I thought you were chasing one but you told me just later that you were actually trying to put a second shot in it but because I was swimming after it. You it's pretty hard to, to it's pretty hard to <laughs> second shoot a fish when you're hugging it. Yeah, so I um I just went straight for the bear hug, grabbed it and it was so lucky I did because the second I did the spear fell out. But then I was worried about losing my gun so I grabbed that and then I just had this live dolly in my hand between my legs and the spear. <laughs> one was between the tail but I couldn't wrap it up properly I was really worried about that spear stabbing me so I just held onto the spear and, and fought it between my legs but again the, the fish ended up like wrapped through my legs somehow I love chasing the dolly, they're, they're just such good eating, but yeah, those shots today were pretty, 
pretty bad. No, as good as that, uh, your first dolly in Mexico that oh, time when no, you Oh, no, no, I don't think I'm ever going to repeat that. That was epic that day. Yeah, that was pretty good. So just to add some context here, we'd spent about 12 months prior to this jumping in on hundreds of logs trying to find my first dolly. So when the captain spotted this log on my birthday, I was pretty excited. After landing some nice dollies, we tried to do some inshore diving, but it turned out to be a little bit rougher than expected. <laughs> Dolphin fish, aka mahi-mahi or dorado, is not only delicious, but also one of the most sustainable fish you can hunt. It's one of the fastest growing fish, reaching sexual maturity within the first six to 12 months of its life. The females can produce anything from 100,000 to a million eggs two to three times per year. That's potentially three million eggs per year. That is insane. The average lifespan of these are about three to four years, with a few living to the ripe old age of just five years old. They're a ferocious hunter and a rapidly growing fish that can attain a length of over four feet in just the first year of growth. So what does all this mean? Basically, the dolphin fish are one of the most sustainable fish in the whole ocean to hunt. Uh, we're heading up the court. So it's Friday Arvo, just finished. Uh, just go in. Friday, but... <laughs> got out to the fad, got up crack dawn, got out to the fad, and we just... <laughs> got to the fad? I think yeah. we got to the fad. Okay, yeah, we got to the fad. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode. Be sure to give us a comment below or share this video with your mates. Cheers.